Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Shook. I'm a board-certified chiropractic physician in Hickory, North Carolina. My clinic is Hickory Spine, and today I want to talk to you about at what speed can a whiplash injury occur. So what speed, how fast does a car have to be moving to create a whiplash type of injury? And you might be surprised by this. What we find is that whiplash injuries and the threshold for injury, so the speed at which the cars have to be moving to induce an injury, can be as low as one and a half miles per hour. You may think, how in the world can anyone be hurt moving at one and a half miles per hour? Let me explain, because this is a common misunderstanding, very, very common. And, you know, there's been a lot of accident reconstruction that shows that this can occur. So what happens is today, our cars are made so that they can, they can, uh, we can survive at much higher speed impacts. What that means is that our cars are much more stiff, okay? They have crumple zones built into them. You know, you've seen cars and car accidents and it looks like the whole front end or back end is crushed in. Guess what? They're designed to buckle that way to absorb some of the forces. But what happens when your car is hit at a low speed and there's no crumpling? Right at a low speed. So low speeds can be, you know, I mean, these are these are considered no visible damage auto accidents, okay, or car or, or uh, motor vehicle collisions, no damage, okay, or no visible damage. Sometimes you can find it if you really investigate and look under the bumpers, you'll find the damage. But the no damage accidents are what are called no damage. Those are typically one and a half miles per hour up to about ten miles per hour. Cars hit and the bumpers are elastic. So what happens is instead of hitting and smushing together and the car's crumpling, which typically happens at a higher speed, which the car absorbs some of the force, there's this, there's this um, um, more of a bouncing effect. I think of it, when I think of it, I think of like taking a, you know, a well, well inflated basketball and bouncing it, boom, bounces right back up to you, right? It's, it's, very, it's, it's very full of air and it just bounces off, right? That's what happens to the cars. The cars are stiff, and they're, they're designed to crumple at higher speeds, which protects us and, and helps save lives at higher speed collisions. But at lower speed collisions, there's actually more elasticity and the cars bounce off of one another. What that means is that there's a there's almost a there's a, a compression of the bumpers where they, they they flex and then they they spring off of one another. That that creates a very strong and quick snapping effect through your and, and transfer of energy through your car, through your body, affecting your neck. So whiplash injuries, the research shows us that the thresholds can be as low as one and a half miles per hour. And the reality is, is that that speed could it will affect people differently. And it makes perfect sense if you think about it. Put a 90-year-old grandmother who has osteoporosis and is bent over and has, you know, their, their back is rounded. They have what they call a kyphosis and they're driving their car, right? And they get rear-ended at two miles an hour and it snaps and it jerk, jerks them, jolts them. What's going to happen? It's going to damage their spine a lot easier than it's going to damage the, you know, six foot three, 250 pound NFL football linebacker. They're not even going to feel it. You know, they're going to be like, okay, no big deal. Because your, listen, your pre-existing conditions, arthritic conditions, and everything that's happened to you in the past can predispose you to an injury with a lot less force. So you've got to understand that factor, right? It's that you can be hurt a lot easier depending on the condition of your spine. So the threshold for injury is very, very low. And a lot of people think because cars aren't damaged that the occupants can be injured. That couldn't be further from the truth. The reality of the, of the fact is, is that there's a lot of energy that is released during uh, an impact like that. You have to take into consideration like the size of the cars too. That makes a, that makes a difference. But the, the fact is, is that very significant and serious injuries that can be debilitating can happen when there's no apparent damage to the cars. Okay, so I want you to know that it can happen at low speeds. And there's plenty of literature that supports that. And I have access to that if it's needed. But anyway, if you've been in a motor vehicle collision and you would like my opinion on your case, I'd be happy to give you my opinion. Let you know if I think I can help you or if there's someone else that you might need to see. Just give us a call at 828-324-0800. We'll be happy to schedule an appointment for you uh, at the uh, earliest convenient time. And you can also find us online at hickoryspine.com to learn a little bit more about our practice and what we do. But I hope this has been helpful, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks.